What is up everybody, Gary Simon here. So in the past several years, people have been asking me when am I going to make a Visual Studio Code theme. Um, so this morning, I actually stumbled, stumbled across a new tool, or it's new to me at least, um, and it allows you to use this graphical user interface in order to generate a theme so you don't have to do it all within Visual Studio Code. Um, so you click, uh, you go here, it's basically themes.vscode.one, I'll link it in the YouTube description, create a new theme, and you're gonna see me create a theme um, based on just, you know, my personal preference towards colors and stuff. And most of it is going to be sped up and time lapse. Like it took me like 47 minutes total. And then you're actually going to see it on my Visual Studio Code at the end. And you can install it as well by searching for the, the, um, the color scheme or theme of Design Course. Um, so maybe I'll link that as well in the description. So anyhow, hopefully you enjoy this. If you do, make sure to subscribe and let's get started. Now wait one moment. You're about to watch me customize my code editor. Now in a code editor, you might be a front-end developer or aspiring. Now if you're not very good at front-end development, you should definitely check out scrimba.com their front-end developer career path. They recently launched their front-end development career path, which is a collection of courses that cover HTML, CSS, JavaScript, React, and much, much more, as you see. It's over 75 hours of awesome content. There are hundreds of interactive coding challenges, and it's all geared towards helping you go from beginner to someone that's hireable as a front-end developer. So check out the first link in the description below to get 50% off. Alrighty, so here we are. I, I noticed, by the way, when I uh, was setting up these windows right here, um, I have I always have a ton of icons on my desktop and I I've been taking pictures and stuff of my new snake. I got to know, show you the new snake. She is a beast. So this is my closure. I did a video about it uh, like a month ago. Um, but I, I I took my Burmese python. She's in a smaller enclosure because she's so small. Um, I made a new one for her and I got this girl. She's a reticulated python. She is seriously about 17 to 18 feet long. Uh, she is massive and uh, she is just awesome. Look at this snake. She's 120 pounds almost. Anyhow, let's get to this. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna start with a new thing, um, light or dark? Well, we're gonna choose dark. That's kind of a weird UI pattern, how it just expands the button. I thought that was strange, whatever. Um, let's go ahead. So. As you can see, you know, there's, there's so many different, creating a, vis, a, a VS Code theme is, is difficult because there's so many different elements that you have to account for. Um, I haven't created one here yet. The only thing I did do is just to make sure, sure it works is change a couple colors beforehand for a couple seconds and it does work. Um, and so we're just gonna go through these and it, it, it's tough. Uh, you gotta start with you know a, a, a base color and I have this notepad document open here um, so that I can, track some of my primary colors that I'm going to use because I'm not sure if this app tracks like a palette or whatever based on what you've used already. Um, so I'm just going to start, you know, um, getting here like, like or just putting some some backgrounds like like what is like this background, this background, this background and this background and this background. I think once you get those, then we'll start to um, everything else should fall into place a lot easier. So um, Let's go here, not title, title bar, sidebar. Um, we'll do the sidebar. So we click on this and we have a little color picker here. And you can see how it ends up changing. Um, you know, I personally love dark desaturated blues for some reason, kind of like slate, uh, so to speak. So um, I'm gonna try to come out here and try to just get an idea for a very specific I think this might be okay. I'm just gonna go right there. So I'm gonna take this color code and I'm gonna put sidebar BG right there. So now I have that and I can quickly access it, access it from there on. Um, so the next one uh, that we'll worry about is like what is status bar background? Okay, so that's down here. We'll worry about that after. Um, the title bar. Uh, which one is that? So uh, active, active, inactive, menu background. Okay. Okay, it's showing, some of these it does show you what is being highlighted. Um, let's not worry about that one. Um, what I really want is the background of this. Like where's that at? 
See, I'm hovering over this trying to see if anything's changing and it's not, unfortunately. So let's just move this around. Okay, so we have this background right here. So what I'll do is paste in that color right here and then we can either choose to keep it the same color, which I don't think I'm gonna do, um, or just slightly change it a little bit. Do we wanna go darker like that? Or do we wanna go lighter? So when it comes to thinking about colors, you wanna emphasize, generally speaking, um, what's most important uh, based on uh, your, how much it, 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 it catches your eye. So lighter things will catch your eye generally. So this over here, this bar, I think it might make sense to, to take it a little bit darker than the original color. I'm not sure, I, th I think I kind of like right around there. So we'll just do that for now. So this is called, um, I'm gonna call it the icon, uh, left icon bar, there we go. So there we go, we have that one. All right, next up, I let's see here, title bar, buttons, input, panel, terminal text, tabs, breadcrumbs. Like I just wanna know how to change this background right here. Unreal. Uh, notifications. Let's see here. Let's change this and see what happens here. Oh, it's just like this little, yeah. So you can't edit undo here. So now I'm stuck with whatever that was. Let's just use uh, maybe this color. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> All right, so, um, Let's see here, activity bar, sidebar, status bar, title bar, buttons. But where the hell would it be? Oh, is this, this is it, okay. I didn't realize it's up in that tab right there. All right, so let's paste in this right here. Now we have this sort of weird thing. Uh, this will have its own color as well. Um, let's see here, let's. Um, let's let's just, uh, for now leave it right there at the same color, and I'm going to change um, this area. What is this? See, what would be very helpful is if you hovered over this, it's going to tell you exactly what selection it is. Um, look at these. Look at all these. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to <laughs> to get through all of these and, and create a, a custom area. Because what, what I'm trying to find to change right now is this section right here, uh, this little background. Editor line number foreground, I think that might be it. Uh, editor cursor background, what is that? So this is completely black and I see nothing changes, okay, unreal. Let's keep on going here. Foreground.
right, and here it is. I was able to publish it. And by the way, I have to say, the, the, the process of publishing a theme is extremely convoluted and quite complex. Uh, it just seems like there's so many steps. You have to install multiple uh, CLI tools, uh, create a, accounts on Microsoft, Azure. It, it's just insane. Anyway, I got it uh, up and running, and here it is. So you can actually go to the extensions here, and you can search for Design Course. And here it is, you'll be able to use it. Um, so let's see what this looks like in um, an actual project. So let me go to File, Open Folder. Um, let's just use one of the projects that I did here. Um, don't save. Wait, what? Oh, maybe I didn't actually like activate it. Let's do that again. Um, let's see, set color theme. There we go. Okay, wait, what? Set color theme. Wait, what are you doing? Set color theme. Are you gonna go back? There we go, okay. So yeah, this is the actual color theme that I created. Um, not too sure I like the colors here. I mean, it could work. Um, I'm not sure about this yellowish color, but um, maybe I'll go back and edit this and republish it or whatever um, to colors that I like in terms of the syntax settings. But yeah, that's basically uh, how you do it. And by the way, you know that convoluted process. Um, as long as you follow the, there's a little guide on that site. Um, publishing theme. Let's see if I can find it. Publish theme. Yeah, go here. Um, how do I publish my theme? Just follow these steps and you'll get through it. It'll be tricky in some spot, spots and you'll be confused if it's the first time you did it like myself. Um, but yes, that is basically it. Very fun. All right, awesome stuff. Hopefully you enjoyed that. If you did, make sure to subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comments and I'll see you real soon. Goodbye. <laughs>